Welcome to Sketch TV. Hey everybody, it's Sketch of Sketch TV, and I'm back with another commentary. Now, this commentary is going to be a little different from my usual commentaries because I've actually done a commentary on this video before. I remember a short while ago, I think it was like a few months, where I did a commentary on a Tubers93 video. You probably remember which one that started the whole controversy thing with me. Well, this is going to be a little thing that where called the Sketch TV Rebound, where basically I uh, have another go at doing a commentary on videos I did a commentary on before. And I figure, why not start it off with uh, what was arguably my worst commentary to date. So uh, I hope that I do better this time around, and if I don't, let me have it. Okay, let's get started. Sweet Jesus, tap dancing Christ on a Harley Davidson in a paper hat. That music has got to be some of the biggest ear rape I've ever heard. Okay, I know I'm one who says that I care about the length of an intro less than most people, but now I'm starting to see why a bunch of people complained about how long my intros were. Wait, whoa, 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 rants? I thought this was a commentary, not a rant. Uh, before I begin this commentary, I'd like to get this out of the way. Um, when I said in my thoughts on Random DC that his sound effects were terrible, I could have said it better than this, so I'm going to say this right now. This is better than what I said before. Uh, microphones and speakers don't actually mix very well, and I would rather if you download the rip the audio off the video. That would be ten times as better. Now, like okay, I'm not saying I disagree with your point here, but because of that one line, your grammatical skills are being thrown into serious question, tubers. Let's begin with a commentary on this fan girl known as Dark Angel the Light. If I ever had to pick the worst idea in the history of mankind, besides Ariel's suggestion to his wife... Yeah, it's the over-redundance of handy-dandy guides. Not to mention it wasn't even clever or funny the first time. ...would have to be the incredibly pointless and tacky innovation in the trading card game. In your opinion, of course. You know, that statement is actually going to bite her in the ass. And statements that bite people in the ass would be something that you're somewhat of an authority on, am I right? Nothing says loser better than people sitting around a table and playing a really spazzed up version of poker. DCE, where did you get the idea that trading card games are based off of poker? I really don't get where you're coming from with that. Because it's fun. See? Well, I tell you. <clears throat> In your opinion, Harley. I'd hate to repeat something I said in the last time I did a commentary on this video, but tubers, I know a lot of people have said this before, but there's no rule that says they have to say, in my opinion, at the end of everything they say. It's sad watching people play this game, and even I was guilty of this a long time ago, but thankfully someone saved me by showing me a little something called Bible Black. Ooh, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Using Boomstick 545 clips does not improve your commentaries. Again, I hate to repeat something I said in the last time I did a commentary on this, but I find that if it helps to get the point across, then yeah, something like using Boomstick 545 clips would actually improve commentaries, and... I'm sure you're even guilty of this. So, what do you do with a bad idea? You make a bad cartoon out of it. Yes, you gotta love the Japanese. They know the way of creativity. Because they made vending machines with panties in them. And porn comics where it's perfectly okay for a 13-year-old girl to take it right up the ass. 
<laughs> I am so sorry. I tried to let that one go. I tried to let that joke go. But I'm sorry, but I just couldn't avoid it. Yes, I am referring to the horrors known as Yu-Gi-Oh, a cartoon that has no sense of logic or any common sense. In this universe, everyone's problems are solved by dueling. Just because something doesn't make sense doesn't mean it's bad. Of course not. It will never, ever be logical. Not those shows that, you stupid, I'm sorry, but shows like this can be illogical and it can be criticized because of it. If it's a show like Total Drama Island, then yeah, you can criticize it for lacking logic. If it's a show like Yu-Gi-Oh, then you don't have the right to criticize it for not making, for not having any logic because it's not meant to. Unless, of course, you're going to criticize Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 D. There is a show you can criticize for not making sense. I mean, seriously. CARD GAMES ON MOTORCYCLES?! God, I'm not gonna let that one slide because you are pro you proved in my smack right smack in my face that you are a fangirl of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not gonna let this one go just because a ton of people have said it before so I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Just because someone defends something doesn't automatically make them a fanboy or fangirl of something. No, not the cool armor stuff which leads to a bloody decapitation, but a group of cliche-looking teenagers and some sad adults. Okay, sad adults, maybe, but cliche-looking teens, not by a long shot. When was the last time you saw a teen that looked like this, this, or hell, even this? Playing a card game about monsters, elves, and oh, you're the queen. <laughs> not funny. Plus, not funny. It was not fucking funny. Using clips for the nostalgia critic does not improve your commentaries, nor you have made arguments about this. You do know that she basically said it wasn't funny, right? Oh, it's not funny. Oh my God, let's use the nostalgia critic. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I borrow a move or two from you, Dark Angel. Not funny. Plus not funny. It was not fucking funny! Nah, that's not gonna help your commentaries at all. You have no arguments. You brought up no arguments against DCE. We heard you the first time, Tubers, so can we please move on? You bashed on his opinion. Oh, wah! Yes, basically think Pokemon, but even more ridiculous. Yes, because all animes where monsters fight for the humans are exactly alike. They are alike, not exactly alike. The only way I'd be interested in this again is if they invented Strip Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was played by Megan Fox, Jessica Alba, and the Desperate Housewives. Wait, doesn't DCE hate Jessica Alba? Or is it Megan Fox? I'm not quite sure. Ooh, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Do I really have to repeat myself? We would prefer it if you didn't. So with that in mind, I offer a handy dandy guide on making this series watch 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 watchable inj 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 enjoyable and 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 complaint free. Watch 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 watchable inj 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 enjoyable and complaint free. Seriously, what on all of God's green earth was that? Seriously, what the hell? Step one, that bit you hear in the theme needs to go. Agreed! This is just my opinion, but when you make a commentary, usually you're meant to refute arguments, not agree with them. So, I really think you kind of just wasted your breath there. If you had just let that one go by, that meant you would have approved of the argument. At least in my mind. But he can do anything because he's voiced by Dan Green. Is that even an argument? No, that was a joke. Now, whether or not it was a funny joke is something that can be left up for debate. Really? Are you this stupid? God, you are the biggest fangirl I've ever seen. I like to bring back that, um, Dan Green argument. Well, guess what? I could say something if I was a hater. Which, in most people's minds, you are. Dan Green sucks. There. Step two. 
I have a problem with this series in the form of repetitive dialogue. Well, it's a show and jump anime, it's bound to be repetitive and uses the same lines over and over and over again. Is there anyone else besides me that thinks the English dialogue is rather lulzy? None of us. Hey, I'm throwing a flag for flawed argument. For example... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah oh, no! Oh no! This can't be! This can't be! Eh, uh, this can't be good! Oh no! Oh no! Ah oh, no! You know the funny thing? I never actually realized how repetitive the dialogue was until now. And I actually still don't have a problem with it. Oh, poopy. Using clips from card games for the win does not improve your commentaries. Okay, am I the only one who thinks that that line is getting rather old? Anyway, that line wasn't even funny, it was retarded, and it was shit. Now, you can blame the dubbing company for this if you want, but it's really stupid if each episode contains the same lines 20 times. Agreed. In Here's a quick question. What kid is going to think the dialogue is repetitive? What kind of argument was that? There are literally a dozen ways to respond to that, but I just think it was a perfectly valid argument. I mean, the people who dubbed Yu-Gi-Oh! had done so with every intention of broadcasting it to kids, and... I'm not gonna lie, that's probably why they half-assed it so much, and yes, they could have done a much better job, but they knew the kids wouldn't understand anything about repetitive dialogue or any of that crap, and even now that I realize all this and I have higher standards of viewing, I still find the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, minus 5Ds of course, still very entertaining to watch. It fills me with nostalgia, and I'm sure you've had a feeling like that before. No, 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 you're, no! You know, tubers, I am going to be brutally honest, that did not make you sound any more intelligent, it only made you sound stupid. Any kid could ask that question. Uh, any kid would think that the dialogue is repetitive and boring. Hey, I'm throwing a flag for flawed argument. Anyone would say that. Kids would say that. They would find it heavily annoying and they would just tune it into a different show. My god. Are you this ignorant? Yes. Guess I didn't need to ask the question for you. But seriously, what kid is ever going to know that the dialogue is repetitive? Any fucking smart kid would know. You fucking retard. You're 14 and you're a fucking ignorant teenager, goth, who never, who hardly ever goes to school. Hey, that's hitting below the belt there, bucko. Maybe you should stop hitting below the belt before you end up making yourself look like any more of an asshole than you already have. No offense, but seriously, your, your seizures are a very poor excuse. <laughs> Whoa, people die from seizures, dude, and you're basically saying right here that seizures are not serious, that they're just an excuse. And I know you made an apology vi video for that, but still. And y you stay up all night? Really? Okay, I'm bringing a little personal stuff, but... A little personal stuff? A little personal stuff? Wow, that is ignorance in the first degree. You're bringing in a crap load of personal stuff, man! But seriously!